Hi there. Well, some of the long anticipated wait has paid off. Today, we have our Cindy Playline. Well, it's the start of the Cindy Playline. You're not going to be able to see it at all uh, with the lights, but I'm going to be unboxing her in a second. We do have, we have our she a vlogger. She's a vlogger um and she's absolutely gorgeous i've already seen some of the people's photos it has been chaos this morning i feel like i've been dragged through an edge backwards because i've been on a bus to go to an argos to try and get them well i'd ordered them online then i went to fetch them so i had to get them as soon as possible there's only two rangers two of the range out which is this little vlogger and also you're not going to see me for this one Ta -da! we have the riding skill so we've got uh, it's called riding club play set and obviously we have Cindy there and she has her horse as well now this is the biggest set I think this is the biggest set that you can get now the prices aren't too bad now I did as you can see some of the pictures behind you I did have the full collector's range in 2020 and they are stunning so I can't wait to do a comparison. Now, the one thing they didn't bring out when it was the collector's range was the darker skin Cindy. Now, she's just, like I said, she's so beautiful. I've seen other people's images. So I can't wait to get in this box. So I'm gonna do a review. I'm not gonna do them both now. I'm gonna do this one first. And this one's going to be tomorrow, I think. But I thought because there seems to be such a rush trying to get them, people want to know what they like, whether they're worth buying, um i'm already gonna say yes i think they're worth buying but i would do because i like cindy um but we'll get to see sort of the quality of the sort of whether you get any value for money now this little girl cost 20 pounds from argos i will point out though some people have already been putting these on ebay a little bit naughty and they're going for things like 60 pounds they're still available in Argos. You might have to wait perhaps a few days or something. I know I had to check two Argoses. I ordered with one of them and I realised I could get them tomorrow. But then I realised there was another one. I only had to get on the bus, half an hour on the bus. Um, you do anything for these dolls. Um, so half an hour on a bus and I could get her today. So I did the half an hour on the bus. So please be careful if you're looking on eBay because if this is successful, it's going to continue. That is the thing. It's great that everyone's wanting to buy them because hopefully this means there's going to be more and more of these dolls. Now, there are more to come. Uh, I'm sure a lot of you have seen. I'll pop some links in below for you to have a look at what else is available. Um, but uh, I know the ballerina one's going to be really popular. I can imagine that. There's some with some great sort of pink hair and there's all sorts. I know some people would rather just buy their originals, which is fabulous. I've still got my originals. I do love the vintage ones so much and I will still continue to buy them. But I also like the fact that it's going on to a new generation. It's their turn, but we can enjoy it as well. So I think it's really great that it's managed to come out in a play range. I know my granddaughter's excited about it. And I know lots of friends who are within the doll community. They have grandchildren, children, partners, all sorts of different family members that they're going to want to buy these for. So it's going to be an exciting time, but it might be a bit of a rush to get things to start with. It always is when something new comes out. But we need to make sure that they do bring enough out because Father Christmas might have quite a list. Um, so I don't know when the others are coming out. I'd like to try and find out for you, but at the moment there is just no sign. I thought they would all come out at once. Now there's only two sellers, which is Argos and Sainsbury's Supermarket. So if you're lucky enough to be near a Sainsbury's, there's a chance you're going to be able to get one. But I got the impression earlier when I read somebody's that they said Argos in Sainsbury's. So I wasn't quite sure what that meant. I think whether it was on the shelf at Sainsbury's as a toy, we don't have a Sainsbury's, so I don't get to see a Sainsbury's, so I can't compare. Um, but it looks like those are the, going to be the only two places that the Cindy doll range is going to be available. So we're going to have a quick look, as I say, at this gorgeous, gorgeous girl that's next to me. And I will do this one tomorrow. So if you are considering maybe buying the bigger one as a present for somebody or something like that, it just gives you an idea on how good she is. I'm trying to desperately think off the top of my head now how much I paid for her. Was she 35-ish? 
but you are getting quite a lot in there um and also with these they're not just a doll there's lots of accessories in there and the actual box it's not something i'm interested in but i'm sure some of these sort of younger collectors will really enjoy making the projects that are in there as well and also it's great for scenery if nothing else if you're planning on doing photography with your dolls or anything like that so I'm going to shut up now because you want to see what's in here. I'm going to pop this one on the floor. I'm going to turn my camera so it's top down so you're not looking at me. You're looking at the doll to give a really good view of her because I know this uh, this way uh, the camera doesn't sort of focus as well. It's better when it's going the other direction. And that's why I know, uh, I can't remember, was I, don't know that I mentioned on the last video. I can't remember whether it was the crochet one or not. But yeah, I can't actually see very well. <laughs> <laughs> what i'm looking at here um uh, because my glasses the the sun the light is glaring too much on it so i can't see anything then so i'm hoping this looks okay so i think we need to get on with this and i'm going to do some comparisons with my vintage oh the computer's just turned off uh with my vintage girls and also the collector's ones and we'll have a little look see what we think as the comparison so i'm gonna just pop this down because i can't reach first and i'm gonna lean across and turn you off and i will see you in a moment well, let's have a look at our beautiful blogger. I said vlogger earlier. She's not. She is a blogger. It does say on her computer if I paid the slightest bit of attention. But that either way doesn't take away from how gorgeous she is. We're going to have a look at the box first. I'm going to get her out. Now, these boxes are great. From what I've seen, you can craft with it. So we'll start at the front and read all the way around. Obviously, we have a Cindy logo here. And it says Cindy Fashion Store Play Set. So there's more there. And it's by Kid Creations. And it says it does include cindy crafts we'll look on the little side and you see that and it does actually say what you can put together so you can make like a little wardrobe there's little clothes it's very reminiscent of the old dolls paper dolls where you used to pop the clothes around so there's little things and activities to do as well so this is all looking good and here is a picture of all the girls that will be available so we have the two at the moment and here it says believe in yourself and i don't know that that is going to be a sort of um logo for want of a better word saying for all of them or whether it is just for this girl so we need to get in don't we but i think i need to be really careful because let's have a look what this says it says inside cindy comes with a laptop and back top back top backpack to keep up with the trends so there's lots of things in there so i can't just rip at this box i've got to take it steady so we can see there is a little bit of plastic sort of sellotape circle or whatever it is here holding this top bit to the bottom bit hopefully it peels off without any damage Ta -da, it did so i can now hopefully slide this off why can't i slide this off has it got another bit holding it i can't see that there's anything else holding it and i say i really don't want to damage we've got another piece here i'll try this Although saying that, as I say, I'm not bothered about the box, but I know a certain somebody who will quite like uh, using the boxes. So I don't want to damage it for her, but it's not the end of the world if there's a little bit of damage on there. Oh, <laughs> it's just not picking up. Come on. Come on. I've got some scissors here ready, if necessary. They're quite sharp, so I could just maybe just slice. Please be careful if you do this at home. I wouldn't recommend you do do it at home. This is a rather mad way of me getting into the box. And I've gone and ripped it anyway. So it's only the outer bit that says about the purchase, etc. So I'm going to take it off. All right, that's our sticky bit one. And it is attached to the bottom of our box. There, that is where it was attached. So be careful, there's like a little sticky bit on the bottom. And that's what was causing the problem there. It's a nice solid box. You can feel it's well made and sturdy. So even as a playset, it is great. So we have some little, another one. Again, I'm just going to cut through it for now. They do need taking off really. But let's have a look. I'm taking too long to get in, aren't I? I want to get in myself. There's another one at the top. It's just tormenting me, I'm sure it is. Right, we do need to be careful with this. Is this. Is that it? Nope, I've not gone through it. I'm going to take it off camera a second so I can just see, because I can't actually see where the sort of the cut is. So I'm just going to slice it down. So I've just sliced it now. So I think everything should 
come apart, which it is doing. Ta -da! That's what I wanted to do. So she is in some plastic, but there's not too much, so it's not too bad. Now, this is what we're going to use. Look at all those. They're just so cool. So you can actually make up this little sort of uh, mannequin. And then she's obviously got her shop store inside, sort of for other details. So bits and bobs, as I say, we can make the mannequin, make the clothes to go on it. In fact, that is where we're going. Is that double-sided? Yeah, it's, it's nice, actually, because it's double-sided. It's not two pieces, is it? No, it is actually double-sided, so it's not just a, a plain piece of cardboard on the back. So it makes it a little bit more interesting. I'm just going to pop them there and let's have a look what we've got here. It says craft cutouts on the reverse, but you can actually go to the tutorial site to have a look at that. So that will help if you're not sure. And these are the bits and bobs we are looking at. So she's obviously got a shop sign, we've got coat hangers. This is the little wardrobe and that is the stand for the actual mannequin that's over here. So I think that is really fun. And it's, it's an, an additional thing, isn't it? It's making play sort of more interesting. If the child perhaps hasn't got it, if it is for a child to play with, that is, um, you know, it gives them something more to do rather than just sitting staring at the phones on YouTube and things like that. Although it does link us to tutorials. Well, they're handy you tutorials. They're crafting tutorials. They're allowed. So let's have a look. Is she fastened in in any way? I think she's just, ho hopefully, she's just held in a bit of plastic. Plastic I can hack at. It doesn't matter, does it? It will be going in my recycle bin when I have finished. There's two bits of sellotape. Looks like it's one either side. Maybe I shouldn't say that because there's probably more. I got this two and then I find another dozen. Oh, she fell out, bless her. So she's not held in with not lots of nasty clips, which drive me mad. So we're not still having a look at it yet. Let's have a look at some of these accessories. She has a little laptop. So great if you're wanting to do photographs of maybe a sat in the garden, having a coffee. And perhaps she's typing up her blog for the day. And she's also got this little book. Now, the little books were an addition they had for the collectors as well that went with each one. So this is quite cute. Uh, this is designed, obviously, to explain what we've got here. So we've got a little bit about the mannequin, designer shirt. So it's a proper little proper little workbook. Look at that. We've got, like, uh, word searchers, Cindy hair care. Oh, look at that. I wonder if that's going to be oh, outfits to collect. That's a little bit of a clue there. There's some things coming out. And there she is. This is our beautiful blogger and all her bits and pieces. Oh, there's lots. I'm not going to show it to you all. In fact, I'm going to hold it back. But there's lots of little things in there. I, I said my granddaughter's going to think that is amazing. She's going to love that so much. So we'll pop them in there. Well, she has a bag. It's a lovely backpack. And it's nice and solid. But it is actually functional as well. So that just sort of clips through like that so that is really nice it's sort of soft enough to get on the doll but it's solid enough to sort of stay sort of in one piece and you can also alter the length of them which you know that that's quite sort of an added feature really because a lot of things are just solid so you can actually alter the size which is quite cool so you can put it on other dolls i suppose if you want so let's get on to this beauty i'm going to move that car that cardboard i was going to say then plastic i'm all over the place as i've had a, a very strange day because i found out that they'd come out so i was rushing about trying to get them they do seem to be selling really fast from what I get the impression. So you do need to keep an eye out for it. And this is the first look. Just look at that face. Is that Cindy? That is just Cindy. I'm just holding her hair now. That is really soft. You know, sometimes you get doll hair and it's like full of product and it feels a bit nasty. This doesn't. It is soft. It is curly and beautiful. So it's this really dark sort of luscious brown locks that she's got she's got a little hairband here and let's have a see what's on her t-shirt it says since 1983 since 1983 cindy okay so she has a little jacket it's, oh, skirt's got stuck on her hands there even the detailing down to the fact that there is a little label on the jacket there saying cindy which is really cool so let's take them off a little bit at a time so she has this cute little silvery sort of i don't know is it a lurexy type jacket there she's then got this lilac t-shirt on which looks nicely made which is actually separate i had wondered if it was all in one but it's not she's got this separate little tutu on which is just elasticator so it just slides off so we can slide it off 
and then she can have a different look all together where she's got these sparkly leggings and look at that the knees bend and the ankles bend too and she's got purple trainers on there so as far as articulation is concerned she's got some good movement there forward and back we have a knee bend we have an ankle bend so this is all looking really good she twists at the waist the arms we have a little bit of movement all the way around there plus we have some elbow bending and a little bit on the wrist that was a little bit stiff though so be careful when you do that that did go a little bit stiff so i felt it creak a bit need to be careful and yep i think it's just because she's stiff but i quite like that look when they can pop the hands out like that when you're posing for photographs now the head let's have a look now when i got my collector's version uh, a lot of people were saying there's no movement but after a minute or two you found out there was movement you just have to be careful i don't want to force this it doesn't seem to be a, a huge amount of movement but remember this is a play line this is designed for children to play with so it has to be a little bit more robust um it, you know it has to be prepared to be sort of thrown around or left in the garden and all those different things or packed in a bag or cuddled up in bed so it does have to take a little bit more sort of of the usage so i'm going to pop her there and we're going to have a quick look now this is my collector's girl this is one of the collector's girls they are the sa exactly the same height i would say they're exactly the same height we do have similar features as in we do get the arm and the wrist i think the actual joints are almost identical but i must admit the collector's one's ankles don't move so perhaps they had a look at that and perhaps people had asked for it i don't know so that's why they've included it into the play, play range but generally the bodies are quite similar the head movement is more in this one because you can see i can move it sort of side to side arm forward and back but again i suppose that's a vulnerable area um for the child if they're playing you don't want the heads to be coming off do you but apart from that they are very very similar the plastic i don't know it's sort of I don't know that does feel a little bit different a little bit more plastic here than this one the arms feel exactly the same the body i would say is about the same we could do with sort of uh, taking the clothes off completely perhaps to check on that um let's take these shoes off these shoes come off nicely yeah the shoes come off nicely i suspect she's about the same foot size now i've not took my shoes off on these yet so let's have a comparison I think they're the same feet, aren't they? The same foot size, at least. So if you've got shoes for one, shoes will go with the other one as well. So that is good. Let's have a look. I'm going to take some of her clothes off just to have a nose it. Mm. she got written on anything? Nope, she's not actually got anything written on her. Quite often that is the area where dolls will have their information on them. Um, I was just trying to think. Oh, yes, she does. I can't remember whether she swiveled on her waist. She does. I don't know. There's not a huge difference, you know. It's, uh, she's got a, a printed on underwear, which I think most dolls have nowadays. Now, this is a collector's video. So, you know, we're having a look at the detailing rather than anything else and the comparisons. I think most of you, if you've had the collector's one, will be very pleased to know there isn't a huge amount of difference look at that apart from there's a tiny bit more movement on there and the reason the other reason for these being like they are is we have the quality earrings we have the extra jewelry with the shoes are literally sort of uh, stitched like real shoes whereas obviously playline is plastic um so the quality there is a massive quality difference but as i said these are collectors these are to sit on your shelf and look pretty really or take photographs of whereas the playline is uh, you know children essentially i know it, most of us are going to collect them it's not just about the children but essentially um, i've just shut the table again and so essentially they are designed for children but i know the adult collectors are going to go mad for them and to be honest if you are an adult collector like myself yeah i would i'd go mad for them because they're, they're lovely the quality is spot on really impressed let's pull your trousers back on missus we don't want you flashing on the internet do we let me just pop your top back on 
the colours are quite good quality. They're a nice quality, in fact. Um, I know recently sort of Barbie's been letting us down a little bit with the quality of theirs. But these are nice. They are all stitched. They are properly done. Velcroed back there. Oh, I doubt Mrs. Putting her feet in her face. Um, but yeah, they're nicely made. There's, I've got no issues at all with that. And like I said, that's just a little hairband. That's just going to keep feeling her hair. Um, obviously we've got a bit of hair care there we need to be careful um so they do it does need to be looked after because these, there's a lot of curls let's have a look she's got a lot of hair you can see obviously the scalp is of a color so that it blends so if you do get any gaps you can't really see but there's there's a lot of plugs in there there's a lot of hair which is always nice to see there's like a central point there where she's got more um yeah can you see I just sort of spread it out so you can see roughly sort of the distancing on the plugs it's quite good it is really good obviously i with her hair being curly i can't really tell well, perhaps when we look at one of the girls with the straighter hair we'll be able to see more but this hair is going to be gorgeous for actually sort of styling and sort of ponytails sort of updos i, just, I love curly hair absolutely love it. I always wish I had curly hair. My hair's a nightmare to curl when I do have to try and do it. But there she is. This is our new Playline girl. This is our collector's girl. And in comes our vintage girl. I love them all. I've got no problems at all with them. Obviously, it is a progression. But to be honest, it's still Cindy. That is definitely Cindy. There's no way of getting away from that. Obviously, it depends which generation you sort of came from, which generation you had as a child. If you're a collector, you're going to have a preference for face sculpt. This is my preference. So for me, this is perfect. But I know some of you do prefer some of the other uh, face sculpts. But there's still no denying that this is Cindy with sort of a quite baby face, as a lot of people refer to. But that is her. That is about what she is. So I absolutely love it. She's got these really full lips. They've all got very similar mouths. There's not a lot of difference. Obviously, another thing that is different, though, see how these have got eyelashes and the collector's line has eyelashes. The play line doesn't. But again, it's because the, sort of the market it's aimed at. It would be nice to have eyelashes, but to be honest... You don't really notice because she's got these little painted on ones and I think they look just as cute. So you can see there's not much difference. Obviously, foot sizes are different. The vintage girl does have larger feet and it's those rubbery legs. We all know what that's like if we had this doll when we were younger. You need talc to get boots on and things like that. So at least these sort of slide on to the doll a lot easier. Um, but it's definitely an sort of honouring the original one which I am just so so happy about so we're going to pop vintage girl and collector girl over to one side and her shoe I mustn't lose her shoe because I said these shoes are gorgeous they really sort of uh, like I say it's a proper shoe it's a real shoe whereas obviously these are plastic but if anything like with my granddaughter she loses them most of the time so this is not a bad thing that they are just plastic and I'm, I'm oh I wish I, I shouldn't have opened that in front of you now because it would have been a surprise wouldn't it but yes it looks like there's going to be a clothing range but the other dolls have to come out first and they have to be successful I suppose um you know they're not going to produce dolls if they don't sell but from what I got the impression from on Argos they are selling and they are selling fast so you may need to sort of get down and keep an eye on that i only found out these were about because somebody had put it on facebook if i'd missed that i wouldn't have known so i'm sort of a little bit concerned about that because i'm thinking well how are we going to find out but hopefully we will get notifications but again i will put the links below of the official sites for the dolls and i haven't actually looked on kid creations yet they could actually have a page up now that's the point i didn't look i looked on the official sites and i jumped straight onto argos and they were there so i went ah i got to do it now so i did it straight away without looking at anything else so i do need to do a bit more research um but all in all i'm absolutely over the moon love the idea of the crafting um, it sort of gives another angle to the play, which is great. Plus, obviously, we've got a little bit of technology here in a bag and this absolutely adorable little book, <gasps> Sneaky Peaks again, where, you know, you've got activities. There's the ballerina that I mentioned. 
I know a, a certain little somebody who's definitely wanting that one. I think she's going to be really, really popular. And this is the Riding Club one then, the other one that I've got. And as I, said, I think this is the most expensive one. The others are all going to be around that £20 like this one was, which isn't bad. I know some people go, oh, well, you can get a Barbie for £10, £8. But they aren't, there's no movement. They're not articulated Barbies. Think about that before you say that. Because they're not articulated Barbies. You move on to the made-to-move Barbies, you are looking at £20. And they don't come with accessories. We've got some accessories here. And we have some activities. So all in all, I think that is really value for money and a great present. I'm just hoping that Father Christmas is able to get supplies because you know it'll be sad if people sort of get disappointed so fingers crossed on that one so i'm going to leave you with that i hope you enjoyed watching her i'm over the moon can't wait for the others to come out and i will be letting you know as soon as i do get them in case you do want to look i know some of you have already got her so you know you don't need the review but uh, nice to hear from you if you do so if you've already got one pop a notification in the bottom and say hi and say what you think of the doll and whether you think she's worth it it'd be lovely to hear your comments if you do enjoy my videos please like subscribe and share of course and click on that notification bell and then you'll know when i do the next one I know I do do crochet videos etc as well so there might be some videos in between that you don't want to watch but it will just let you know that I've uploaded my videos so thank you for watching bye bye for now from me and the Cindy's here and we'll see you all very soon bye